Guten Abend, Good Evening, Dobre Vecchia. Uh, only a short speech because uh, one of the most outstanding qualities of a speech is its shortness. So if there are questions, further questions, then I can speak with you individually. Uh, only some words to Mr. Forster and the First World War. As you know, uh, the Austro-Hungarian army defeated the Serbian army in 1915 and then Austro-Hungarian forces uh, occupied also in 1916 Montenegro, Zanunagora uh, and Albania. And uh, from uh, 1916 to 1918 the Austro-Hungarians started uh, in Albania uh, a sort of military administration but the idea behind this administration was uh, a sort of uh, nation and state building. Because Albania, what was in those days Albania, uh, was not a state in this sense. It was uh, until 1912, it was part of the Ottoman Empire and then uh, there was a great disaster and internal chaos. Uh, and in the perspective of Viennese diplomats and, and politicians, uh, for the time after the war, uh, this uh, Albanian state could be a satellite of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. So, they started... Nekoliko reči o gospodinu Fosteru, on je došao kao deo za vojevačke vojske i kao što znate, Austro-Ugarska vojska je pobedila Srpsku 1915. Zatim prešla 1916. na Crnu Goru i tokom 1918. zadržala se u Albaniji i osnovala administraciju, jer tada Albanija kao takva nije postojala. Plan Austrijske države bio je da stvori satelit državu koja će I had the impression that you all understand perfectly. So, <laughs> no questions, every yes, yes, writing, writing. Okay, uh, sentence by sentence. Uh, and one part of this uh, uh, administrative uh, building up uh, was uh, to start a sort of ethnographic and artistic survey. Uh, concerning the whole region, Southern Balkans. Uh, for the Austro-Hungarian uh, strategists, they were interested also uh, into the cultural heritage, into the potential of the region. So, uh, they created uh, the interesting species of uh, collecting officer. A new military rank. And one of those collecting officers was Mr. Forstner. Uh, Forstner was, at those days, 36 years old and he was an artist at the beginning of an international career. Uh, he covered an extremely wide range of disciplines, uh, painting, drawing, mosaic art, glass art, uh, design also. Uh, but uh, the focus of his uh, artistic work in the years before the First World War was mosaic art. Uh, he executed a lot of very large, enormous projects. For example, if you look at this roll-up, uh, the picture uh, the upper picture, uh, you find a, a photograph of uh, a mosaic which is in a famous Jugendstil church in Vienna. And this 
mosaic has a square of, uh, covers a square of 88 square meters. It's enormous. Uh, uh, those mosaics of Forstner made him famous in whole central Europe. But then uh, the war started uh, and the Austro-Hungarian army decided that was a, a quite good decision not to send him to the front but to use his potentials in another way. And his mission was to picture uh, the popular culture, the architecture and uh, the cultural techniques of uh, the regions of southern Balkans. Uh, and uh, uh, the center of his activities was uh, present-day Montenegro and Albania, Albania, but he traveled around. He came also to Macedonia, which was under German occupation in this time, Bulgarian also. But as you know, if you want to go to Montenegro, for example, or Macedonia, you have to go through Serbia, so there are some, also some uh, drawings uh, picturing Serbian motives. Uh, first, uh, traveled around for 18 months in 1917 and 1918. He also collected, so uh, the Austrian, uh, the Viennese Museum for Ethnography, uh, harbors a collection, the Forstner collection, uh, items, clothes for example, and other products uh, of uh, cultural techniques, uh, I think 200, 210 pieces. We even are, are able to find some connection between the drawings and some objects of the collection. Uh, so, usually Forstner spoke, for example, with this Serbian gentleman on the drawing, drawing, and then he, he bought his clothes. So, I find on, on, this, uh, on this drawing, for example, valuable, and then I find clothes like this from valuable. So, Forstner was an interesting man and I think the most fascinating aspect and the whole story is that during a an epoch of total disaster, of dismemberment of a lot of states, the beginning of the European disasters of the 20th century, that in this time somebody finds time and leisure enough to make wonderful uh, and, 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 and uh, high-level pictures. Uh, it's also for me a sort of symbol that uh, the spirit of culture and education uh, always survives. Yes, and that's a positive perspective for the future. Thank you.
Dragi gosti, uživajte u izložbi i pozivam vas da u 20 časova u Velikoj sali Kulturnog centra pogledate prvu projekciju austrijskog filma Mračna dolina. Hvala.